welcome back. As you can see, we're at the house. Yay! Well, um, today we are going to be finishing up the tree uh, bolo tie. But first, I kind of need. Well, I've been I've been using this. All right, which this is fine. This is all right. But the problem with using this is that you can't get the other side unless you flip the piece over. Now that becomes a problem when you're working with hot pieces and still hot solder because then if you try moving the piece then the piece moves and then it just becomes a mess. So. Tonight we're going to be making a tripod before I uh, solder this thing up. So let's get started. Now, I actually got this idea because I was looking at my rack here and I noticed that this has a steel netting around it. So uh, I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to use another just rack that I've had lying around to make the tripod piece. So, let's cut. Not really a tripod, but it's a bipod at the very least. All right, so that's how you make a tripod uh, with a steel mesh uh, to, you know out of scrap. Random things. Just looking at it made me made me think of that. So let's get started on the soldering. First I'm gonna need something uh, flat to be able to flatten down these ends so that they'll be nice against the piece, so let's get that up. All right, so now that this is on here, let's uh, flatten both of these pieces a little bit so that they'll go together nicey nicey. <laughs>
All right, so we're gonna let that sit in there. Something was not right with that though. I don't know if it was that I needed to burn something off of this. Something didn't look right with that. It didn't, it did not look right. So just in case, I'm going to burn the rest of this. Yeah, there's like fumes coming off of this. That's what I call cleansing with fire. I should have done that in the first place. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm hoping that it didn't affect it, but it looked so wrong. Um, so I'm hoping that at least some of it got um, soldered to the circle, but it looked to me like the solder didn't want to flow onto the circle. And that's a problem. And I think this had nickel or plating of some kind that might have reacted with the circle. And if that's the case, this is going to end up turning into a part three. And I'm going to have to redo the whole thing. So let's hope not. But it, it didn't look right. It didn't look right to me. So let's uh, let's pull this out and see what we have. Nope. Knew it. Yep, I knew it. It didn't look right. Let's try cleaning this. I'm gonna try cleaning it right now. Do a whole fast forward thing. I'm gonna try cleaning it right now and redoing this. Hopefully it'll work. So let's fast forward. It's been cleaned. Uh, let's uh, get a little bit of big, better angle. I'm gonna keep it on here and not use uh, this just in case this was the issue. I'm gonna leave it on here and uh, try and make sure that it works. Uh, let's get a little bit of a better, better angle.
I don't know if you can see it, but in the flames, it's like a yellowish green that just doesn't look right. I'm starting to think that this isn't even a um, piece of silver. Like I thought it was. Because this is all attaching to... The copper, just fine. The solder is soldering to the copper, just fine. But this piece of metal, I'm starting to believe, is not silver. Or there's something on it. Did that actually solder? I can work with that if it did. Oh no, I bumped you. Well, uh, I'm definitely thinking this is a different metal. It's not acting like it should. And it's like, like silver in that regard, at the very least. It's soft, so let's... I'm going to do a melting test on one of them, and then I'm going to try soldering these two pieces together and see what happens. Okay, so first the melt test. Focused on this piece here. I was going to flux it, but there's really no point. That melted like silver. Okay. I'm... I could have very well ruined it with this piece. I could have very well ruined it with this. If it... If the tinning or whatever that was on here transferred over onto the circle, that could be just a ruined piece. Granted, that also means that that pickle is now um, tinning pickle. I'm going to have to re... I'm going to have to clean out my pickle pot, and, uh, I'm going to have to clean out my pickle pot and make new pickle. That's fine. Um, I seriously think that this ruined it. Because there's no reason, none whatsoever... Because that, that melted like it should. So those two pieces are now together. Yep. That soldered. Like it's supposed to. And this turned into a ball. Like it's supposed to. So I'm thinking I ruined it. 
Yep. Whatever was on this, I bet anything. Whatever was on this, transferred over to the circle. So, so, yeah, I think that that is what happened, and I'm a little upset about it, I'm a lot of bit upset about it, because I worked really hard on it. So, I am sorry, this is going to have to be a three-parter, because I screwed up. Damn. Yep, I need to clean. I can't even use that pickle anymore, because if it's stain, if it's the the stainless steel, if it's like nickeling or it's gonna, it ruined that pickle. Now anything that I put into that, it's going to, uh, um, ruin it. It it'll make it just like that circle where it won't solder, it won't do anything. So I'm going to clean up. And uh, work this out for next week. Uh, again, I'm sorry that it happened. Uh, but learning experience. Kill it with fire before you put your work on it. Because you don't know what... You don't know what this is. You don't know... I mean, I knew that it was steel. But if it had um galvanizing if it had galvan the, the, the galvanizing galvanized steel i don't know if it's galvanized it could have been which that's really bad because all those fumes are very toxic um i mean i definitely try not to breathe that type of stuff in if i start seeing smoke or whatever um and this is a fairly open, ventilated area, but that definitely could have been galvanizing. And if that's the f case, it definitely could have transferred over and then ruined the piece. So, next week, I think I'm going to um, do an off-camera setup, uh, do the whole setup off camera where I'm um where I'm where I'm shaping the piece and shaping the copper I'm going to use a whole new thing of copper too I don't want to chance it I don't uh, the copper seemed fine cuz that was it was uh uh eating up the the solder but I'm going to use a new thing of copper. I think I'll set it up um, off camera and then make a whole new part two, which is part three. Um, it's upsetting, but that's what happens when you... It's, it's very easy to upset soldering and upset this kind of work. It's just... Very upsetting. <laughs> so, uh, that'll be it for this episode. Um, I was planning on starting another project next week, but since this happened, this is going to be my project next week. Um, so, the next project after this one, I'm going to actually take a, a whole bunch of silver... And I'm actually going to do exactly what I did with this, with the melt test. I'm going to make it into little balls. Uh, you can't see that, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it into little balls. Uh, and I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. Uh, and then I'm going to solder each of those onto a piece and set a stone so that's going to be not next week because of this whole debacle but probably the week after um, and that's probably going to be a multi-part as well that's probably going to be like a lot of multi-part 
Um, so, hope you join me then. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. And if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified if um, I drop another video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. I know I enjoyed doing it, even though I ended up doing a mistake, which happens. That's just how you gotta work. Um, I should have known better than to do that. But, um, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful evening.